All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, um, yeah, I, I normally do talk at the beginning of the video, but since somebody said I talk a little bit too much and not, a, not enough action, I figured I'd get the video started off by letting you guys see some stuff. So what I'm doing is I'm actually going through and finishing up, plugging up, finishing plugging up a lot of the plugs that belong to the front of the car. Um, I'm gonna try to put the, well, not try, I'm gonna put the uh, inner, the, the radiator in because obviously I finally got the new condenser so that's on um, and try to get some of the some of the uh, front just put back together in this video um, and then actually let me show you guys something so it's gonna be a little bit longer like maybe like a week week and a half before I actually start the motor and here's what the hell Okay, and, and here's why. I'm actually going to take the, uh, oh, I'm sorry about that. Um, the O2 housing right there, yeah, right there, uh, right, yeah, there, or somewhere around, oh, no, right there. Wow, that was so off. I'm taking the O2 housing off, and the reason being is because... We're going to uh, have the have an external dump for the uh, wastegate uh, door. And here I'll show you exactly what I mean by grabbing this Evo 9 Turbo. So, what basically what we're going to do is currently um, the way it's set up is that current pipe. This this door opens. There's a pipe that dumps into this pipe that goes along here and it all basically collects and then goes out of the exhaust. Well, what happens is when um, this actually creates more back pressure, especially when the um, you have the uh, wheel right here, it's going to push a little bit back towards the wheel. Not a whole lot, but enough. Um, so basically what the dump is going to do is going to separate the two pipes. Yep. Sorry, Lisa had asked me a question, but anyway, so back to this, basically what's going to happen is, is now these two are going to be separated. This is going to actually dump out near the um, down pipe, um, near the uh, flex part of the pipe, um, and then this is going to continue out of the exhaust. So it should make a difference in sound, and from what I've been told, it will actually help increase um, power by allowing the compressor wheel, or not compressor wheel, sorry, um, but allowing the wheel to spin faster. So that's gonna be awesome, um, and that's that. So that's the reason why it's going to take a little bit longer. Um, so it's also gonna give me time to make sure I have all the connectors uh, plugged up correctly and things like that. So let me know what you guys think. Oh, I also have to finish uh, at least wiring the um, wideband so and then once that's done what we're gonna do is we are actually going I actually learned a few things um, and that is to when breaking in the motor not to use synthetic oil not to use the Rotella I bought because it is synthetic oil but to use regular regular oil that's high in minerals um, and to um, and then there's a procedure to actually break in the motor and things like that. And then once I'm done, then drive it for 500 miles and then change the oil. So there's a, this is going to get interesting. That's the other reason why I want to make sure everything is completely plugged up and all the hoses are correct. Oh, by the way, I also, um, I think I told you guys I finally got that fitting um, for the uh, coolant line. So now that is all set. That is actually coming under under here and then and then plugs um you gotta put the rubber hole while the rubber hose is on i just gotta pull up the um clamp and have that clamp so that's all set so oh boy it's getting crazy in the house i better hurry up um so let me hurry up and do some stuff and then i'm gonna go in the house and we'll continue this tomorrow or something so uh yeah yeah by the way my family's crazy
check out my new top mount intercooler. What? Ugh. Don't got that in a Genesis Coupe. <laughs> All right, so today we're gonna bring that um, to uh, MPH Performance. Um, last night I came out here at like 11 o'clock and took it off the car because I almost forgot to take it off the car. I finally found that radiator support under the car. So um, we're gonna drop Noah off uh, at daycare and then go back to North Haven to drop that off and then I gotta go to work. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, so I'm out here at MPH. I did drop the... Um, the housing off and the downpipe. The downpipe, for reference, it's going to cost me about um, probably 225 bucks between uh, how long it takes and uh, materials. So, you know, that's that's pretty good. I'm, I'm I'm happy with that, and I'll have a custom piece. So, this is where I was at, right here, right here. And as you can see, they do all of that stuff right there. It's so awesome. And Mike is so busy. He was he was just telling me that he turns down like almost three jobs a week. Um, so I'm lucky to actually get in there. What I kind of do is sneak up on him on a Saturday when I know he's here and they're closed. And I'll, you know, come and sweet talk. No, I'll just ask him. Um, and, um, but yeah, he, like I said, he, he turns down about three jobs a week. And that's obviously a good problem to have. So, um... Hopefully it doesn't take too long. He knows I need to get need to get it back and get the car on the road. So we'll see. And then we got to worry about tuning. So yeah, as it continues. Oh, the other thing I told Mike too, I was like, dude, it doesn't have to look pretty. Um, just obviously function. <laughs> and this is how you know somebody is prof a professional, you know, and well, a perfectionist. And of course he said. Uh, if it's coming out of this shop, no, it has to look good. So he like obviously, he represents his shop well. It's his shop again, um, and he did that custom, the um, the custom Y pipe um, a couple years back. So and it still looks good. It still functions well. Makes it makes the exhaust sound good. So that's why I went back to him. So now I'm on my way back to work. I'm at a train track, um, and. Um, I clearly, I mean, I'm on my way back to work. Wow, I'm on my way to work. Uh, it's like 8.05, I'm usually there at eight o'clock, but this was more important, so. I'll talk to you guys later. <clears throat> All right guys, so it's been a couple days, a couple, a few days since I actually picked up the camera. And part of that was because I had to actually, I, I needed to get bolts to bolt this bracket up to the radiator and the reason being is because obviously since I am not using the um, stock intercooler um, I had to take the old one out and believe it or not the old radiator sat on top of the stock intercooler which is kind of far back actually um, and so I needed to actually get some bolts because uh, so I got a whole thing this does come in handy um, so I needed to get that and I also needed to get a new barb um, whatever this is for the turbo um, and I'll show you why in one second so as you can see I have one on the turbo already but the opening of that is just way too big compared to that so I'm gonna actually change this one out with that one right there so so i'm actually going to do that um and then i'm going to just put the brackets on the uh, radiator here i'm not going to put it in today and that's because i want to be able i want to put the belt on and all that other fun stuff um and i have to look at the diagram to see how the belt actually went so let's let me do this now and call it a day
Okay, now that that's settled, I gotta get some more hose and things like that. Um, but now that that's settled, we can take care of the radiator. Let's just find the right bolt. Alright guys, sorry, I had to kind of test fit to see which way, which direction these brackets actually go. Because um, at first I thought maybe they went this way, like that, but I think they actually go this way. Um, so yeah, let's uh, put these on. All right, guys, this is why we test fit. So I tried test fitting the whole unit into the car and it's not gonna fit in the car with these two brackets that I just bolted on um, and now makes it too wide. Um, so I'm actually gonna have to take those off and then put it in the car and then bolt those on. So at least I figured that out now. Um, again, I'm not putting it on anyway, so um, not too worried about it at the moment. And I found the right bolt, so we're good. Um, what else? Oh, so the other thing we are real, what we're really waiting for is we're really waiting for the um, downpipe um, and the uh, O2 housing because I gave Mike the whole both, so that way he could make a um, make the uh, dump pipe go. The dump pipe's actually going to come up. And just over the just over the downpipe, and then come down, um, so that way it's not in the way of anything. And I actually think it'll kind of look better and almost look, make it look like I have a cat. <laughs> um, so that's what that's what's happening with that, um, so, and that's what we're really waiting for. Um, I'm gonna try to get the oil and all that other fun stuff in the car, um, just so just just because. Um, this is such a crazy process. And Dion, Dion, you're supposed to come pick up the engine hoist because you said you needed it, so hurry up. Um, you can't keep it though. So, that's where I'm at right now. Um, and I don't think, not much has really happened in this video, sorry. Um, it's a process, but we got some of the pieces that we needed, so I'm happy.
Yeah, so I'm trying to put on the um, serpentine belt, and I just realized something. It's the wrong goddamn size. Now I gotta go buy a new one, even though this one's a, a new one. Bear with me. Alright guys, I got another timing belt, so let's try this one more time. Serpentine belt. That didn't go as I planned. Oh wait, yeah, it did. It's now on. We got the ser serpentine belt on correctly. It's the right size, thank God. Um, so let's see if we can at least put the radiator in and call it a day for this video. Lisa just got home and told me we're leaving here in 30 minutes. Does she not know who's in charge? I'll be ready in 25. Alright guys, so as you can see now we've got the radiator in, uh, the condenser in. I had to take off the fan to actually get this to fit in between here to just slide it down. Plus I had to take off that bracket. That's what you guys saw me doing, putting back on was the bracket. So now I have to obviously put these back on to support here and one of them, that one over there, for some unknown reason well not a known reason as you can see it's rusted out and i broke the bolt when i took it off so i've got to drill this out but that's not a big deal so we're going to actually end the video here um 
Thanks for being patient. One of you guys said it's about time on the last vid, or two, a few videos ago, that I had gotten this started. So uh, we're making progress. I think what we're gonna do next is we're gonna put the, we're gonna worry about the intercooler piping and things like that because that didn't exactly fit right. And part of that had to do with the fact that I had the old intercooler still in there and it was there was just stuff in the way. So this should make it, everything should be a lot easier. Um, again, waiting on, um, waiting on Mike to complete the uh, <laughs> the dump and and basically because he has the O2 housing and my downpipe for to use the downpipe as a reference to make sure that the dump isn't touching and all this other stuff so that's where we're at so let me know what you guys think about this video if you guys are new to the channel go back watch the other videos um, and if you guys have questions definitely ask me or put them down in the comment section because if I don't answer them somebody somebody will one of one of one of the other people will um i finally figured out a name for you guys and i'm gonna stop calling you subscribers your name all of you collectively is cooper cooper jen cooper jen, genesis coop somebody had put um somebody had put uh one of you coopers put jen cooper genesis cooper um but i think cooper just yeah, it's, yeah, you're Cooper. So join Cooper, subscribe, you're Cooper. Join, become a Cooper, you're Cooper. So until next time, like, share, comment, subscribe, Cooper. And uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, that's right. Make no limitation, your only limitation. Peace.